Browning to watch as people pro In the world of live television, where every second counts and millions of eyes are glued to screens worldwide, there lies an electrifying unpredictability. There are many instances when unscripted incidents take center stage. Have you ever witnessed an inappropriate moment on live TV that made you shrink or laugh out loud? And how do you think hosts should handle such unexpected situations on live TV? Join us as we unravel 25 inappropriate moments caught on live TV. Number 25. Unexpected guests. Unexpected visitors interrupted Professor Robert Kelly during an interview about South Korea on the BBC. He was working from home, a setting where parenting duties blend seamlessly with professional responsibilities. This incident happened amidst an essential British moment of awkwardness, adding a touch of comedy to the situation. As Professor Kelly delved into the complexities of South Korean affairs, the unexpected occurred. His children, unaware of the gravity of the situation, burst into the room, unaware of the live broadcast. The question is how do democracies respond to those scandals? Uh, and what will it mean for... Uh... The scene was as chaotic as it was lovable, as the professor tried to maintain his composure while simultaneously managing his homely duties. The intrusion didn't stop there. Just when the situation seemed to reach its peak of laughter, Professor Kelly's wife made a timely entrance to retrieve their mischievous children. The, um... Pardon me. Pardon me. It was a moment of pure, unfiltered family life happening in front of a global audience. In the midst of the chaos, Professor Kelly remained remarkably composed. Despite the unexpected turn of events, he seamlessly continued with the interview, leaving viewers both amused and impressed. Number 24. Licked Her Ear during a live broadcast from Perth's Ascot Racecourse, Channel 10 reporter Lee Steele found herself in an unexpected situation. While delivering her report, she was suddenly interrupted by rowdy onlookers in the background. Amidst the chaos, a woman unexpectedly leaned in and playfully licked her ear, catching Steele completely off guard. As if that wasn't enough, another individual decided to add to the spectacle by mooning the camera, revealing himself on live television. Despite the cameraman's quick attempt to zoom in on Steele, the mischief had already been captured and aired for all to see. Back in the studio, she was informed of the incident by her colleagues, and rather than getting bothered, she simply laughed it off. However, the unexpected and amusing turn of events didn't go unnoticed by viewers who took to social media to share their reactions. Despite the initial shock, many expressed amusement and empathy for her, understanding that such unexpected occurrences are part of the unpredictability of live broadcasting. Number 23. Prank on Will Smith. At the Moscow premiere of Men in Black 3 in 2012, there was a rather unexpected and daring incident involving Will Smith, the renowned film star. A prankster from Ukraine had concocted a mischievous plan, aiming to pull off a stunt that would undoubtedly catch everyone off guard. As Will Smith made his grand entrance onto the red carpet, all eyes were on him. But just as he approached, out of nowhere, the prankster dashed forward and embraced him tightly, planting kisses on both of Smith's cheeks. Oh my God, okay. How you doing? Hey, hey, the 53-year-old actor, startled by the sudden intrusion, swiftly pushed the man away, delivering a resounding slap to his cheek in the process. What's your problem, buddy? In the aftermath, when questioned by reporters, Smith expressed his astonishment and discomfort at the ordeal. He recounted the incident, stating that he felt the prankster had gone too far by attempting to kiss him on the lips. With a touch of humor, Smith remarked that the prankster was fortunate he didn't react more aggressively. Later on, Smith recognized his initial reaction as perhaps too strong, and he publicly apologized for his response. Number 22. Carlson Falls Asleep on Air Many of us have experienced that familiar feeling of exhaustion at work. Imagine when you're just so tired that you sneak in a quick nap when nobody's watching. In 2013, Tucker Carlson, one of the hosts of Fox & Friends, is on live television. The cameras are rolling, the audience is watching, and Carlson, well, he's catching some shut-eye. He actually fell asleep during the show. And to make matters worse, it wasn't just a quick doze off, it was a full-on nap. <laughs> Apparently, Carlson had been burning the midnight oil the night before, covering for another colleague. 
So when a commercial break rolled around during the live broadcast, he thought he'd take advantage of the opportunity to recharge. Little did he know the cameras were still rolling when he drifted off into dreamland. When his co-hosts, Clayton Morris and Allison Camerata, noticed what was happening, they couldn't resist poking a bit of fun at him. It's not every day you see your colleague snoozing on live TV, but credit to Carlson, he managed to handle the situation like a pro. Number 21. A skit going off script. In a spontaneous departure from the planned script, this live performance spotlighted talents similar to Larry David and Michael Richards, who later found immense success together on Seinfeld. Yet it's the unforgettable moment featuring Andy Kaufman that truly steals the show. A skit unfolds, portraying two couples enjoying dinner, with a secret smoke break woven into the comedic fabric. Then enters Kaufman, who decides to toss the script aside, igniting an unexpected chain of events. Michael Richards, feeling the frustration of Kaufman's deviation, tosses signal cards in annoyance, only to be met with a splash of water from Kaufman's glass. Suddenly, chaos ensues, and the energy of the scene shifts dramatically. Little did viewers know this chaos was carefully organized by Kaufman himself. While the main actors were in on the joke, the unsuspecting crew members were caught off guard by what happened, a fake altercation that would soon become legendary. This act did more than just entertain, it gained significant positive attention, leading to to the show's renewal for another season. However, despite the buzz it generated, the show eventually met its end in 1982. Number 20. Inappropriate Staffer During the BBC's News at 10, viewers were not just greeted with the usual lineup of news stories, but were unexpectedly treated to a scene that sparked instant intrigue and raised eyebrows across the nation. As Sophie Rayworth, the composed presenter, delved into the latest developments regarding England's cricket conquest over South Africa, a strange drama unfolded on the screen behind her. Amidst the backdrop of breaking news, a naked woman made an unexpected cameo. While she remained steadfastly focused on her reporting, a BBC staffer, identified only by his distinctive dragging posture and conspicuous headphones, sat in close proximity to the unfolding spectacle. His accidental involvement added an intriguing layer to the drama leaving viewers to speculate about his reaction and role in the peculiar scenario. As the nation tuned in to absorb the latest news updates, they were met with a startling visual interruption that transcended the boundaries of conventional broadcasting. The comparison of the impressive news report and the unusual backdrop of the staffer's inadvertent involvement in the scene created a moment of collective astonishment and amusement among viewers, ensuring that this particular broadcast would be remembered long after its conclusion. Number 19 strange sound. A peculiar incident happened when U.S. Congressman Eric Swalwell found himself in an awkward situation, strongly denying an unexpected noise during a live TV interview on MSNBC that quickly gained widespread attention. This incident took place during his appearance on Hardball with Chris Matthews, where they delved into evidence presented in the impeachment hearings regarding President Donald Trump's alleged phone call with the Ukrainian president. As Swalwell, a member of the House Intelligence Committee, responded to Matthews's questions regarding evidence suggesting the president's misuse of government funds to solicit help from Ukraine, an unforeseen pause in the conversation caught viewers' ears. Just as Swalwell spoke about the contradicted proof of the president's actions, a sound relating to farting was heard causing a momentary stir. The congressman's slight shift in his seat seemed to reflect his awareness of the social media frenzy sparked by this awkward occurrence. Quickly, Swalwell took to Twitter to furiously deny any involvement in the sound, emphasizing that it was not him. He even exchanged text messages with reporter Addy Baird, reiterating his innocence. Number 18. Yuli Guriel's Offensive Gesture the 2017 World Series concluded with a historic victory for the Houston Astros over the LA Dodgers, marking their first ever championship win. However, the excitement of the game was overshadowed by a contentious incident. In the midst of Game 3's second inning, Astros' first baseman Yuli Gurriel struck a home run off Dodgers pitcher Yu Darvish. Yet Gurriel's celebratory moment turned sour when he was captured on camera making a disrespectful gesture by pulling his eyes into a slanted shape seemingly mocking Darvish, who hails from Japan. Additionally, he appeared to utter a disrespectful term, which translates to little Chinese boy in Spanish. This scandalous behavior resulted in Guriel facing repercussions, including a suspension of five games for the following season in 2018. 
Seeking to make amends, Guriel publicly apologized to Darvish for his offensive actions. Furthermore, he demonstrated remorse by tipping his helmet towards Darvish, likely as a gesture of remorse. Despite the Astros' victory, this incident is a sign of the importance of respect and sportsmanship in the competitive realm of professional baseball. Number 17. Kanye Interrupts Taylor Swift Kanye West, a figure known for sparking controversy, has a knack for surprising people with his bold actions. One memorable instance occurred back in 2005 when during a televised event aimed at raising funds for Hurricane Katrina victims, he didn't cut up his words about President George W. Bush. He bluntly expressed his belief that Bush didn't care about black people. However, it was in 2009 that Kanye truly made waves at the MTV Video Music Awards VMAs. Taylor Swift, basking in the glory of winning the award for Best Female Video, only to have her moment rudely interrupted by Kanye. He boldly seized the microphone to declare that Beyonce deserved the accolade instead. His words, Yo, Taylor, I'm really happy for you. I'll let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time reverberated throughout the venue. This impromptu act not only cast a shadow over Swift's victory, but also created an incredibly awkward atmosphere. Despite offering apologies later, the incident sparked a prolonged and intense backlash against Kanye, leaving a lasting impact for years to come. Number 16. Talk Show Fight Two Jordanian reporters found themselves caught up in a dreadful and disastrous incident that severely impacted their respective businesses. This unfortunate event happened during a live broadcast on the TV station Seven Stars, where the two men engaged in an on-air discussion about Syrian issues. However, what began as a mere disagreement swiftly escalated into a passionate confrontation, eventually turning into violence as their verbal exchange intensified. In the heat of the moment, both individuals rose from their seats and angrily shoved the desk at which they were seated, resulting in the complete destruction of the set. This dramatic clash happened during a show that typically served as a platform for individuals to engage in civilized debate, argumentation, and the exchange of differing viewpoints. Yet on this occasion, the situation quickly spiraled out of control as emotions overtook professionalism. Production personnel were compelled to step in and intervene, physically separating the two men after the table toppled over from their struggle. Number 15. Jeff Probst Grills, Courtney Yates. Courtney Yates, the second place contestant on Survivor China, found herself under the spotlight of media scrutiny throughout her time on the show. Much of this attention centered on her small size, sparking discussions among both media outlets and her fellow contestants regarding the reasons behind her small stature. These discussions persisted even beyond the show's airing, lingering until the reunion episode, where they took a particularly inappropriate turn. During the reunion, host Jeff Probst unexpectedly delved into the sensitive topic of Yates's weight, addressing it in a manner that was not only awkward but also deeply embarrassing. His line of questioning seemed to come out of nowhere, catching both Yates and the audience off guard. Moreover, Probst's attempt to commend Yates for gaining a few pounds only added to the discomfort of the situation, making it one of the most shy-worthy moments in television history. He didn't stop there, however. Later on, he directed another intrusive question at contestant Eric Huffman, asking about his personal life and whether he was still a virgin. Number 14. Janet and Justin's Fumble Janet Jackson and Justin Timberlake's infamous problem at the 2004 a moment marked in pop culture history. As the duo took the stage, anticipation ran high. Janet, an iconic figure in the music industry, and Justin, rising to solo Super Bowl halftime show, stunned audiences worldwide. Their performance, intended to be a dazzling display of musical talent and showmanship, instead became stardom after his boy band days, were expected to deliver a memorable performance. Little did they know, fate had a different plan in store. Janet's costume suffered a wardrobe malfunction. In a flash, the incident occurred, last mere seconds, but leaving an indelible mark on the Super Bowl and beyond. The, the aftermath was immediate and intense. Viewers across the nation were shocked and outraged by the unexpected exposure during a family-friendly event watched by millions. The incident sparked a frenzy of media coverage with pundits and commentators dissecting every aspect of what became known as Nipplegate. In the wake of the controversy, television networks faced scrutiny and calls for increased censorship. Number 13. Inappropriate Dog 
In a strange twist of events during a live television broadcast, a man clad in an elaborate dog costume found himself at the center of an unexpected spectacle. The carefully choreographed routine was meant to feature the man emerging from an elevator to seamlessly join a group of dancers in a synchronized performance. However, the carefully planned sequence quickly devolved into chaos when the man, seemingly unable to resist temptation, veered off course upon spotting a girl wearing a striking blue dress. With the eyes of the audience obsessed with the unfolding drama, the man in the dog costume made a misguided attempt to engage the unsuspecting girl in an unwelcome embrace. As gasps of astonishment echo through the studio, the other dancers scrambled to intervene, their carefully rehearsed routine thrown into disarray by the impromptu intrusion. In a moment of confrontation, the girl in the blue dress swiftly retaliated with a slap heard across the studio. The unexpected clash of emotions and actions brought the performance to an abrupt halt, leaving both the studio audience and viewers at home stunned by the unforeseen turn of events. Number 12. Pink Boxers during a live TV broadcast in New York City, chaos ensued when a mischievous prankster decided to play a cheeky trick on an unsuspecting television presenter. The presenter, clad in his formal suit, was completely caught off guard as the prankster swiftly pulled down his trousers, revealing a rather unexpected sight bright pink boxer shorts. As the bewildered presenter grappled with the sudden exposure, the prankster couldn't contain his amusement, gleefully displaying the embarrassing moment to the camera. With a triumphant whoop and a thumb up, the prankster made a swift exit, to watch as people pro <laughs> narrowly escaping any retaliation from the enraged presenter who attempted to strike back in fury. This unexpected incident not only brought laughter to viewers, but also reminded someone of the nature of live television and the potential for unexpected surprises to happen at any moment. Number 11. BBC Reporter Slapped In a live news broadcast on the BBC, news presenter Ben Brown was discussing the unveiling of the Labour Party's election manifesto in Bradford with his colleague, assistant political editor Norman Smith. However, their conversation took an unexpected turn when they were interrupted by a member of the public. The woman, dressed in a striking leopard print blouse and a black jacket with minibags in hand, positioned herself between the two journalists. She expressed her enthusiasm. Yes, Jeremy absolutely Corbyn, fantastic. when he was asked, Thank you. just give us one so second, right. remarking about the event being absolutely amazing. However, her sudden appearance posed a challenge for Brown, who attempted to discreetly move her out of the camera's view. In an unfortunate incident, Brown's attempt to reposition the woman resulted in his right hand accidentally making contact with her chest. Reacting swiftly, she slapped his shoulder before walking away, crossing the camera's view. Following the incident, the woman's identity remained a mystery, as she was not properly identified by media sources. However, social media users expressed outrage, with some calling for Brown's removal and labeling his actions as disgraceful. Number 10. Accidentally Pulling Down a Dress in an unexpected turn of events, this woman found herself in a rather embarrassing predicament. While participating in a televised event, fate took a mischievous turn when her dress was accidentally tugged down. Amidst the thunderous applause and musical accompaniment, the atmosphere quickly shifted as the host unknowingly pulled her dress down. <laughs> leaving her momentarily exposed to the unforgiving gaze of live television cameras. As the initial shock subsided, she was confronted with yet another challenge. A recently captured video surfaced, replaying the unfortunate moment on a grand scale, magnified for all to witness on a large television screen within the studio. The discomfort of the situation escalated as she realized the extent of the exposure she faced. With a swift retreat, she sought support in the sanctuary of privacy, her hurried departure capturing the attention of millions online. The fallout from the incident was swift and fierce. Across various online platforms, a wave of criticism surged towards the host condemning the perceived prank as inappropriate and calling for accountability. Many voiced their discontent, suggesting that the repercussions faced by the host were insufficient given the gravity of the situation. Number 9. Cleaner Slides Out of Sight 
A funny video recently went viral online, capturing a rather amusing problem. In the video, a cleaner unknowingly wanders into the frame during a live television broadcast, setting the stage for an unexpected spectacle. It seems the cleaner mistook the television set for just another part of the room they were tidying up. When the cleaner realizes their blunder, they react in a hilariously frantic manner. Szép számmal érkeznek a további üzenetek, idős Balázs Lajos. Swiftly dropping to the floor in what appears to be a scene straight out of a comedy movie. The setting of the mishap appears to be a gardening program, set in a location not disclosed. As the presenter continues with their dialogue, the cleaner attempts to move across the floor as inconspicuous as possible, adding an extra layer of comedy to the situation. The unexpected entrance of the cleaner followed by their impromptu floor slide, provides a lighthearted moment that is sure to bring a smile to anyone watching. This amusing incident quickly caught the attention of viewers across the internet, spreading laughter far and wide as it circulated online. Number 8. Distracting Giraffe At the San Diego Zoo, CBS 8 reporter Ashley Jacobs found herself in a delightful predicament during a live report. While she was busy delivering her story, a curious nine-month-old giraffe decided to make her acquaintance in the most unexpected manner. The giraffe, brimming with affection, wanders over to Ashley, closing the distance between them with an endearing curiosity. Much to Ashley's surprise, the giraffe expressed its fondness by playfully giving her a few licks. Caught off guard by this unexpected display of affection, Ashley managed to maintain her composure, albeit with a touch of bewilderment, as she carried on with her report. However, what began as a mere interruption soon transformed into a delightful and humorous spectacle. Her colleagues couldn't contain their laughter as they witnessed the charming exchange between the fearless reporter and the friendly giraffe. Despite the giraffe's persistent attempts to steal the spotlight, she remained focused on her task, gently nudging the giraffe away from the camera whenever necessary. What made this moment truly special was the unexpected nature of the giraffe's behavior and her ability to embrace the lightheartedness of the situation with grace and humor. Number 7. TV Reporter Quits Live On Air in 2014, a captivating moment unfolded on the screens of Alaskans, courtesy of KTVA reporter Charlo Green. The incident sparked a digital frenzy as her impassioned resignation went viral across social media platforms. Green found herself in the spotlight while covering the Alaska Cannabis Club, an organization passionately advocating for the legalization of recreational marijuana across the state. However, viewers were in for an unexpected twist when, midway through her report, Green disclosed her ownership of the club and promptly announced her resignation. All live on air. Her decision to step away from her reporting duties delayed from a desire to fully commit herself to the cause of cannabis advocacy. Green's bold move not only made headlines, but also marked a significant moment in the ongoing debate surrounding marijuana legalization. Yet, as the dust settled and the fervor of the resignation subsided, a darker chapter unfolded. Despite her intentions to champion the cause, Green faced a troubled turn of events. Authorities raided her cannabis club, casting a shadow over her endeavors. Not that I have a choice, but fuck it, I quit. Number 6. Teeth Flying Out during the spirited live television debate, which had captured the attention of millions of viewers, the stage was set for an electrifying clash of ideologies. The politician in question, known for his passionate expression and unwavering convictions, was determined to reinforce his stance on a contentious issue. As the discussion escalated, fueled by the passionate remarks of fellow debaters, the atmosphere crackled with tension. It was during this crucial moment that the unforeseen occurred. The politician's artificial teeth, a silent accessory to his impassioned speech, decided to make a dramatic bid for freedom. The incident happened in a rush of movement and emotion. The politician's false teeth, perhaps weary of their supporting role, suddenly liberated themselves from his mouth, propelled by the force of his emotion. In a split-second reflex, reminiscent of a seasoned performer, he skillfully caught the rascal artificial teeth mid-air and seamlessly restored them to their rightful place. The audience, initially taken aback by the unexpected interruption, soon found themselves grappling with a mixture of disbelief and amusement. No, 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 no. Now it's time for today's subscriber's pick. In the bustling city of Metropolis, where cameras never sleep, 
and every moment is an opportunity for drama, the stage was set for one of the most memorable incidents in television history. It was the night of the prestigious Metropolis Awards, a flashy affair attended by the who's who of the entertainment industry. The event was being broadcast live to millions of viewers around the world, promising an evening of glamour, excitement, and of course, a fair share of surprises. As the show commenced with dazzling performances and heartfelt speeches, all eyes were on the stage. However, little did the audience know the real drama was about to happen behind the scenes. In the control room where producers frantically juggled camera feeds and audio signals, chaos erupted when a technical glitch caused one of the cameras to malfunction. Panic the crew scrambled to fix the issue before it disrupted the live broadcast. Meanwhile, in the green room, tensions were running high among the nominees. Among them was the notoriously abnormal actor, Vincent Blackwood, known for his unpredictable behavior both on and off screen. As the anticipation grew, Vincent's nerves got the better of him, and he resorted to his coping mechanism, a bottle of fine champagne. Unknown to him, a mischievous stagehand had left a live microphone in the room, capturing every word and action. As Vincent indulged in a bit too much liquid courage, he began entertaining his fellow nominees with outrageous stories and scandalous gossip, completely unaware of the fact that his every word was being broadcast to millions. How do you think Vincent's career will be affected by this incident? What measures do you think event organizers should take to prevent similar mishaps in the future? Share your thoughts and comments below. Number 5. High Five Gone Wrong Nicole Richie found herself in a cheerful yet unexpected predicament during a live appearance on a talk show. As the charismatic host Kat Greenleaf kicked off the conversation with her trademark charm, she unintentionally caused a memorable moment that would be talked about for days to come. The setting was the bustling city of Los Angeles, where she resides amidst the challenges of a drought-stricken region. Against this backdrop, the anticipation of rain during her getaway to New York sparked a glimmer of excitement in her eyes. It was a rare moment of relief from the parched landscape she was used to. However, fate intervened in an unexpected manner. As Greenleaf and Richie attempted to share a celebratory high five, an unforeseen misjudgment led to the collision of their hands, and Richie's stylish sunglasses became an unaware casualty. The unexpected sound of the glasses clattering to the ground punctuated the studio's silence. It's gonna rain three times this week, so that's pretty... Oh my God! before erupting into laughter from both the audience and the hosts. Despite the initial shock, Richie's quick, intelligent, and easygoing attitude shone through. With a laugh, she brushed off the incident and seamlessly transitioned back into the conversation. Number 4. Tyson Bites Evander Holyfield this legendary heavyweight boxer made headlines for all the wrong reasons during his rematch with Evander Holyfield on June 28, 1997. In a shocking turn of events during the third round, Tyson sank his teeth into Holyfield's ear not once but twice with such force that it tore off a chunk of the flesh. This incident catapulted Tyson into a new realm of ill fame. He was promptly disqualified from the match and faced severe repercussions, including a substantial fine and the revocation of his boxing license. However, Tyson's punishment didn't end there. He endured public condemnation and scrutiny for his unsportsmanlike behavior. Despite the controversy, Tyson's boxing license was eventually reinstated. But the incident remains etched in history as one of the most bizarre moments in the sport. Millions of viewers witnessed this strange spectacle happen live, forever cementing Tyson's place in boxing lore as much for his antics outside the ring as for his prowess within it. Number 3 blending into the green screen. In the bustling studio of a Los Angeles newsroom, where vibrant green screens are the canvas for digital wizardry, a heartwarming tale happened. Amidst the whirlwind of live broadcasting, a news presenter, donned in his professional attire, noticed a subtle but potentially catastrophic wardrobe malfunction befalling his colleague. There she stood, poised in front of the green screen, ready to deliver the latest weather report to eager viewers. Unknown to her, her choice of attire clashed disastrously with the bright key technology, transforming her dress into a mesmerizing light show of colors reminiscent of temperature maps. As she began her discourse on the weather conditions, a realization dawned upon her. Oh my, she exclaimed, her voice painted with dismay. I'm going to have to change. Panic threatened to engulf her as she grappled with the unforeseen spectacle her dress had become. Her gallant colleague, swift as a knight in shining armor who rushed to her aid. 
A collective sigh of relief echoed through the studio as the crisis was averted, although in a rather unconventional manner. Number 2. Baby Sheep During a broadcast by Connor McCauley, a journalist from BBC Northern Ireland, there was a charming story about the adoption of a three-month-old lamb named Button. But just as the tale was getting into gear, Button decided to steal the show in a rather unexpected and hilarious manner. She chose that precise moment to relieve herself right in front of the camera, catching everyone off guard. Despite the issue, Macaulay and the crew couldn't help but burst into laughter at the adorable yet embarrassing moment. Maintaining his composure, Macaulay dealt with the situation gracefully. He even showcased his sense of humor by shaking his boot on camera, smiling all the while to rid himself of any mess from the unexpected incident. Far from lowering the spirits of the broadcast, this unexpected twist turned it into an online sensation, attracting attention from media outlets worldwide. Recognizing the widespread appeal of this field good tale, the BBC took the lead in sharing the footage, ensuring that people all over the globe could enjoy and remember this memorable moment. Number 1. Reporter Falls on Fishermen A reporter, Carly Gordon, embarked on an adventurous journey aboard a small speedboat, accompanied by a diligent film crew eager to document her every move. Their destination? The peaceful waters of a Tennessee lake, where Carly intended to shed light on the growing problem of unwanted species. Standing confidently in the boat's bow, she held up a prime example of the intruding species, a seemingly obedient fish, for the camera to capture. With her engaging narrative, she explained the threat these creatures posed to the delicate ecosystem of the lake her words carrying the weight of ecological concern. However, nature often has its own plans, and just as she was in the midst of her demonstration, the seemingly gentle fish suddenly jumped to life. Its unexpected fish caught her off guard, prompting her to release a high-pitched scream of surprise that echoed across the calm waters. As the boat rocked dangerously under her surprise movements, Carly's momentum caused her to stumble backward. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.